My name is Daniel Burns. I'm the fire chief at Rapid City Fire Department. I've been in the fire service for just over 20 years. We don't have a lot of water events or incidents due to the fact we don't have any major lakes or rivers or anything inside of our area. So it's kind of a rare occasion. One more chance, you know, sometime something could happen. It's happening so fast. We get to the end of our skills, last skills day. Um, I go back home, go right back into normal life. Uh, and I was actually at work on Tuesday afternoon and I saw a state trooper leave the highway and head north on County Line Road. So I end up getting to the scene. I look around, I don't see anything. I just park behind the other fire chief there and I walked up and I said what's going on his reply was we have MBC with a partially submerged victim in swift water and he's gathering gear and dragging boxes out of the back of his truck and he says they went off the bridge and I looked down and there was a F-250 that had went that had hit the guardrail head on and when he hit the guardrail the vehicle flipped rear over front the cab landed center of the guardrail caved the roof into the point it basically dis divided the cab into two compartments immediately grabbed a pfd and we attached the tagline to the blowout strap and i went in the water and I remember crossing the water, facing the current, going through all these steps in my head that I had just learned two and three days ago. And I was comfortable. We've got this patient with multiple injuries. The ambulance is on River Right. We've got myself and I believe four other guys in the water. Uh, we transport the patient across the current, up the embankment to the road where the ambulance is at. And by doing that, we had no delay. We ended up having to land a helicopter, fly the patient out uh, to a trauma center. The information in the class will make a difference in your life. The instructors are not giving you a second chance at your life. The instructors are giving you the tools and the keys to create a second chance for your own self, a second chance for others. I appreciate OSU FST for putting on the class. These instructors that come out and they do what they love. They're there, they're teaching you, they're giving you skills that they've learned in the past and they're giving them to you to use throughout your life. It was, uh, it was pretty awesome.